show your support, like, share and subscribe. Episode 22, 44 weeks in and going strong. So, I, I think, <laughs> yeah. technically, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still not sure if we've missed any. Ah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Yes, there we go. Another fortnight, and here we are to entertain all of you lovely people. You lucky, 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 lucky people. You lucky so and so's. <laughs> Whether you're sitting in work or listening to us on the tube, we thank you and welcome you. <laughs> How are you <sighs> doing, sir? I'm I'm pretty good, all things considered. Yeah. Still being nice and productive and getting lots and bits done and enjoying the month. Lovely. Yeah. The last what month about... of that British guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks for the reminder. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> trying to kind of breeze over that nicely and yeah. Well we cannot sl- forget. <laughs> slapped back in the face with it. <laughs> well this is the first is this the first podcast since it is, yes. Since. Yeah. Just the, the one, first one since. The one two weeks ago went out the day before. Ah, uh, yes, it did. The inevitable ending, so yes. The day before the end. Yes. And we had a bonus. <laughs> yeah, just because why not? That we didn't tell anyone about. No, surprise! surprise. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It is very funny. It is rather amusing, yeah. But I'm still thinking that I need to buy the actual full game. Yeah. And just have fun with it. Especially now Karina's got a Switch as well. Exactly. If anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Tied Together on the Switch. Yes. We did a four-player version. Yeah, it was rather fun. (laughs) Watching four meant-to-be mature people try and use logic to get through situations. Yeah, and And just laughing (laughs) inanely, yeah. Yeah, but not enough skill. No. No nowhere near. And just not listening to each other really. Oh, no. I think that was half the issue of people just going rogue. <laughs> so right, you need to anchor. Okay, I'm gonna jump over here. <laughs> it's like no no, go there. <laughs> Where? Dead. <laughs> one of them we did in nine seconds flat. We did, and then the one after we did in about nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was fun though. It was good, yeah. Yeah. What sort of a what sort of game are you playing at the moment, if any? Um, what are we on? Still No Man's Sky, really? Okay. That has got very interesting. I am so glad I kept hold of that game when everybody else was trading it in three years ago when it was released and just not what they said it was. Because now it's actually what they said it was, and it's great. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm that sounds kind right. of tr- tracking down this person uh, across uh, random kind of uh, solar systems and building up a base as well that is a new feature Um, and there's VR with it now as well which I haven't tried yet but that will be the next thing for me to try is have a look at it in VR I might do that this weekend but yeah if anybody had the game and has still got it kicking about and just hasn't tried it in yonks then i highly recommend it and it's probably dirt cheap to pick up now because everybody traded it in because they were annoyed at the fact that the game wasn't what it was sold as oh okay so yeah it's probably really easy to get a second hand copy of it for like a tenner yeah fair enough well there you go guys there's a recommendation yeah what about yourself well i've just finished a run through of Alpha Sapphire Pokemon Mm -hmm. Alpha Sapphire but I'm playing the game I'm going to actually talk about in a moment okay yes but I'm also I recently purchased and I've only played it twice very briefly but recently purchased the Spyro uh, trilogy remakes well remasters Uh for for Nintendo Switch so I can play it on the train good idea yeah it's uh, yeah I've never played the originals at all just watched nope, uh, old school friends play it. <laughs> I was more of a Crash Bandicoot kind of guy. Same. Yeah. Yep, definitely same. Very much more of a naughty dog guy, you know, Crash Bandicoot, Jack mm. and Daxter, that sort of yep. thing. 
But uh, yeah, no, it's it's not disappointed. It's been fun. Mm. It, it's sort of like a go to a little cartoony world and collect stuff and do things and yeah. Kill there's things. supposed to be quite a quite a few different bits and pieces to kind of find and collect and yeah do. It's not just here is a level. Get to the end of the level. Yeah, you on can, to the next very level. Much an there's open quite world a level. lot of yeah, which for the time is quite. I can see why people really fell in love with it at the time. The idea behind that then was very different. Yeah, exactly right. So that's yeah, that's what I've been playing really. Just get into grips with that. Cool. Not much. <laughs> hmm. I've got a lot of editing to do and done a lot of overtime and, <laughs> and things like that. Got a wedding to save up for. Christ. Um, but yes. So yeah, whenever I've got some time, I'm going to be doing that. I'm on a train. Oh, actually, I'm not. Going to be on a train till Monday, so oh. and uh, well uh, until tomorrow, not for four days time. I mean till tomorrow. Oh, of course, yes. Yes, time. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I've been playing. Ah, cool. Yeah, yeah. That one kind of slipped me by at the time, but yeah, with all these remasters that are coming out, indeed, it might be. Uh, I think Karina was a very big Spyro player back in the. Uh, Back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day. So it wouldn't surprise me if she ends up getting it and then I can just nick it and play it myself as well. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. If you could have one game remastered, what would it be? Ooh. Exactly. That's, that's a big question for the introduction. It's, <laughs> it's, is, is this part of your discussion? No, it isn't actually. I just oh, thought right. of this it. This is just a thing. Th- this could be a discussion for a later uh, pod episode. But for now, I, we'll stick to I one. I mean, it... it it's probably the game that we're actually getting at the beginning of next year anyway, Final Fantasy VII. Oh, fair enough. I've been waiting for that for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to be updated graphics and everything? It's a complete new build. Yeah, oh, fair enough, yeah. yeah. The, the story's been developed. Obviously, it's got voice acting now. The battle system's completely different. The world is bigger. There's, it's, it's much more to do. Everything is... They've kind of taken the basic framework of the story and all the characters and built a new game, really. Fair enough. Or at least it seems that way. Yeah. Well, that won't be too long, then. Uh, March. Ah, that's all right. But it is being released in stages, so we won't get the entire game in ah, March. Ah, okay. Yeah, annoyingly. But that is a yeah. little bit annoying. What would you have remade, if you could? Oh, well... Speaking of Naughty Dog, I would have Jack and Daxter proper remake. Not what, just just the first one or all of them. Oh well, I've I, I'm most most affiliated with the first one, mm-hmm. the Precursor Legacy. That if they could do a complete remaster of that in the style of Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, I'd be exceptionally happy. Easily doable. Yeah, I mean they've already done it with Crash Bandicoot at Naughty Dog, so. Yeah. Well, and with. Um... Crash Team Racing as exactly. well. Exactly. Something so else I might want to try. They've got... Yeah, I need to have a look at that as well. Um, yeah, so they've certainly got the the ability to do it. And I would think they would probably get money from it, so... Yeah. I mean, I'd be buying it. Yeah. Definitely. Hmm. Maybe it'll be one of the last things they release on PS4. Could be. Hmm. Before the big move. Yes. Indeed. Which will probably be in about 12 months' time, roughly. Yeah. It's not going to be that far away. No, that's what my money's on. Christmas next year, (laughs) I reckon. Yeah. I'm just thinking of November 15th this year. That's all I'm thinking of. That's (laughs) that's all I'm thinking of. I wonder why. (laughs) Not just on a personal level, because Pokemon Sword and Shield will be released, but also on a channel level, because it will be the first time I can actually record footage of... A core Pokemon game series. Like, oh, yeah, of course. Let's yes, go is, a se- is exceptionally limited for stuff I'd like to do, but you know, on yes. on Sword and Shield, I can you know I can use any move and use not any Pokemon, but a hell of a lot more of them. And yeah, yeah, I suppose that's awkward when all the other games at the moment are on handheld devices, and it's it's fiddly, isn't it? Yeah, having handheld devices being recorded in the formats that we've got. Yes, exactly. And any Pokemon I want to talk about in videos that are on Sword and Shield, I can just quickly go to a little wild encounter, have a battle with them, yep, and get the footage, and I can actually do something fun. 
Yes, exactly. Indeed. Straight from here to the editing suite to your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, speaking of new Pokemon games, mm-hmm. I'm going to mention a game I've been playing a fair bit recently, whenever time okay. allows, and that is a mobile game. Uh oh. Exactly. Mobile phones. Uh oh. It's not Pokemon Go. <laughs> not mobile games. I know. I I'm always skeptical with mobile phone games. Yeah. However, is it a free to play one? It is a free to play. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it has microtransactions. Yes. However, <laughs> Pokemon Masters was released recently. Okay. And I have been playing it, and it has been fun. Believe it or not. <laughs> Okay. I went in there with an air of scepticism, like, eh, yeah, we'll give it a go. It's a Pokemon game. And uh, it's been, uh, yeah, I'm actually quite enjoying it. I've been playing a little bit before bed each night and, you know, wherever I can. You need the internet to play it. Okay. Which is yeah. annoying, so I can't, like, you know. Play it on the train. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but essentially, you are a trainer, you have a Pokemon, you are at this, um,. Just this sort of place, this island, I suppose. You don't really walk around the island as such. But, um, yeah, you team up with two former trainers from any one of the seven generations of game we already have. Okay. And you take you go on three-on-three three battles, which is a... And it's essentially like a... You tap which one you want to be the target Pokemon, and then you use your attack against it. Oh, okay. But yeah, and you have like a gauge at the bottom, which is, at the moment, I've only got four little segments. And the stronger the move, the more gate, like, bits of the gauge it takes up. Oh, okay, and then yeah. you get a cooldown before you can, so you can't just spam use your strongest move exactly, all the time. Exactly, yeah, and then it will slowly recharge, obviously. Yeah. And it's it's sort of tactical as well, you know, in that regard. And you haven't just got all-out attacks for them, you've got... Like, you know, you can X attack, you can use that twice in a battle, or potion, you can actually heal one of your three of them in a battle. Mm -hmm. So it does get fairly tactical. And is it still limited to just four moves per It is, yeah. Right. You start with two, and then every time you win battles, you get a certain group of items or something randomly selected. Mm Mm-hmm. And you have a choice to teach it a new move with a certain set of items or a certain number of one item, that sort of thing. And you can level mm-hmm. them up uh, with other items. And it's it's actually quite in-depth when you get into it, but sort of simple to use, if that makes any sense. Yeah, very simple to kind of just pick up and dive right into. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, and then the more you do it, the more you kind of work out the, the finer details of it. Exactly, yeah. And they've got this thing... Well, every single sort of pair is called a sync pair, the trainer and their Pokemon, mm. which is really good. And you get these uh, sync pair stories, which is literally you just they just tell you about something. But sometimes it adds a little bit more to what they were doing in the game, like the actual core series games. Like, for example, from the Sun and Moon series, Nanu, he's a trainer, he's a dark-type trainer, um, and he, there's a bit where he's talking to someone called Grimsley, who is in Generation 5 and a dark-type trainer. It's actually one of the Elite Four members. Um, and in Sun and Moon, randomly, Grimsley's on a beach, and you just talk to him, and you flip a coin, and you're always correct, because it's the game, <laughs> no matter what you choose. And uh, it's a little bit random... But then in Pokemon Masters, there's a bit where Nanu says to Grimsley, you should come and visit me in Alola sometime. And Grimsley's like, oh, yes, I may check you up on this. And then, obviously, you're playing Sun and Moon and Grimsley's there, and you sort of think, oh, maybe they're making a reference to him oh, visiting. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, it's, yeah. But every little sync pair story's got something to it. Yeah. And it's just good. Oh, they're all voice acted as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's not just reading wall of text. No. So... Oh, that's quite like cool. the main character in Pokemon Crystal, the first female character you can play as, is called Chris, with a K. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's actually in um, Pokemon Masters, and she's got a voice, 
and that's some, not something you you know you've ever heard of, even in the anime, anything you know. So it's there's some sync pairs that are getting a voice that haven't had voices before. Cool, and it's just quite interesting, really. It's very like I say, it's in depth. It's free to play. You've got a quest you go through. I've not got that far in it because at the moment I'm just sort of grinding the training, leveling up, and everything. Yeah, I was going to say, do you sort of move from place to place on this island yeah. with a kind of an objective, or is it just sort of a battle simulator and yeah. that's it? That it? Yeah, you sort of, you literally just like select main quest and then mm-hmm. the next thing you have to do, and then automatically you're in the place you need to do it, and you're talking to the people you need to talk to. You know, it just it takes you yeah. to the places, and you you yeah, have rather the conversations. Than you walk there and kind of do your yeah. own random stuff it kind of takes you to the next objective yeah exactly right yeah and it is not like i say it is actually quite fun hmm. it's it's yeah it's really enjoyable i'm not going to say i'm going to be sitting here playing it for the next year or whatever but yeah for the time being i have thoroughly enjoyed it and i love just hearing the backstories and certain side stories of characters you haven't heard quite often like I say the Chris the first female character to play as in Pokemon Crystal back in like 2001 or something yeah and it's it's just interesting <laughs> seeing considering new... it's free it's quite a nice little uh, side piece I guess until yeah. the main event comes in November exactly yeah it'll keep us yeah it'll keep us entertained for now <laughs> yeah yeah, and I can fully see them at some point, you know, having updates of, right, we've added this trailer, and then adding a trailer from, like, the Generation 8 games, you know, that sort of thing. Ah, uh, of course, yeah. 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 To get people back over there and interested in it sort of three to six months after Sword and Shield is released or something. Yeah. yeah. And it's just good seeing the different generations of trainers interact with each other. Like, you know, for example, a Generation 4 gym leader seeing a Lance and being like, oh my god, you're the champion of... <laughs> of Kanto oh my god it's Lance it's really great to meet you and it's like wow this is awesome just mm-hmm. seeing all the trainers mingle with each other from all over the place it's just yeah it's just gives it another element and again all voice acted so it's it's just nice actually oh that is quite cool makes makes the characters come alive uh, just makes the situations come alive make it more real it's just fun So I'm presuming, I know you said microtransactions earlier, I'm presuming the only thing really you can buy for that are items for learning moves and leveling, things like that, to make yourself stronger. Yeah, well, from what I can tell so far, you only buy gems, and you use gems to scout for sync pairs. So like uh, 200 gems it takes to find a sync pair and then it's like right you found you know Brock and Onyx that sort of thing oh, so they've okay. joined your team and then the items you just complete the quest and you can do all the quests as many times as you want like so I've, yeah. I've been grinding the same one um, quest for ages because I know I've got a team of Pokemon that are perfect for it because it gives you a type weakness that your enemy your enemy? yeah your opponent <laughs> Mm-hmm. It is um, weak to, like, it rock, for example, the one I'm doing. They're weak to rock. And I know I've got one particular rock Pokemon that's exceptionally good. So I've just been literally grinding. And every time that happens, I get what's called, like, a level up manual. And after sort of... And you can get some experience from that. It's effectively like a rare candy. So I've just been oh, okay. grinding and grinding. And other quests give you the stuff you need for learning moves and all sorts. But yeah, it's yeah. The gems are what you need to find the sync pairs. They're the only real things you can buy. But you can also earn gems in the game by completing yeah, of quests. Course. Obviously, and I suppose the more sync pairs you get, that gives your team variety. Yeah, exactly. In different, so there is there is kind of an incentive to do that if you want to exactly. to make your party kind of. I suppose if you get better sync pairs, you then don't have to do quite so much grinding if you like because you're buying in inverted commas stronger team yeah that's exactly right building one oh, okay that's not too bad then yeah I just need to cover the ghost and dark type I haven't got a ghost or dark type sync pair but once I get some of them um, I've got all of them you're in. <laughs> oh, okay. so I've got 16 of 18 cool. types now I just need to train them all up so it's just you know I, yeah. I'm someone who likes the grind part of a game as much as anything else yeah, I know there are some people out there that are like, right, next check, no, next go, go. I want to carry on with the story, but I, yeah. I kind of like the whole idea of right. I can do that part of the story, 
But if I wait a day and grind, I could do it really, really well. <laughs> you know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Like that. That, well, that's kind of what they're. You're not the kind of customer they want. <laughs> yeah. They exactly. want people that need that instant gratification of right. I need to move on to the next thing now. Oh, I'm not quite strong enough. But if I buy this thing then i will be then i can do it so here's five pounds of real money so that i can get enough gems or whatever to unlock that to then go and do it now because i need to do it now yeah exactly right and that's yeah that's not what i am <laughs> no ah oh, well you're kind of cheating the system it's brilliant yeah i'll take that <laughs> yeah but yeah no, that's all i was going to mention really just the fact that I've been playing that a bit and it's actually it surpassed my expectations and it will definitely keep me busy for the next couple of months until Sword and Shield are out cool nice but that's basically it I'll give it an 8 out of 10 so far okay <laughs> give it a few months it'll probably be down to a 7 from boredom but it's <laughs> well I was going to say we'll check in in a couple of weeks and see if it see where we are yeah yeah there exactly it's yeah it's just fun just fun just, just a nice Ooh. bit of fun but that's me done. Yeah, I'll stop going on about that now. Okay. Well, talking of fun. Yeah. Obviously, video game wise, we do for the fun. Um, Hell yeah. And we do. Um, and a lot of that is sort of de- delivered to us via how well they are marketed and sold to us. Would you agree? I yes, I do. Trailers and gameplay demos and blah 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 blah. Yeah. However, there are, I would say, probably at the moment, for me, a couple of games that are being marketed, and the more and more I see of them, the less I am getting interested in them. Oh, okay, then. Um, One of which being Death Stranding. Ah, yes. um, I saw about this today. Even the beginning of the the beginning of the year, I was still very interested in, and have been very interested in that since, sort of, Christmas of twenty fifteen when the studio was first delivered. But it seems that the more we find out about what the game actually is, the less interesting the game <laughs> seems to be. Yeah, is this? I might be confusing it with something else, but is this something that one of the creators? tweeted about or something or am I getting that mixed with something else completely he definitely did tweet about it today because there was a live I think admittedly I it was a live Japanese gameplay demo so that's kind of a little more difficult for us to get overly invested in because it the game itself is very story heavy and there's a lot of com- conversation in it and obviously when all that's in Japanese it's very difficult to kind of connect with it yeah but, yeah, what was it, tweet-wise, that you're... I can't remember. <laughs> oh, okay. I read it at about seven in the morning when I got in at work. It was just on the home screen. Oh, OK. I can't remember now. Damn. If I'm allowed to look it up, I may look it up. <laughs> yeah, why not? Is why it... Not? Was, was, were my eyes deceiving me, or was Mads Mikkelsen there? Mads Mikkelsen is in the game, yes. Right, OK. But I'm... Right, good. That's all I needed to know. Yes, it's definitely him. He is in it, and so is Norman Reedus. Oh, it, oh really? Oh, is in that fact, you the same play game? As, oh. Yeah, in fact, you play as Norman Reedus' character, um, who is called Sam. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, given what we kind of saw recently at the Tokyo Game Show and also at Gamescom when they kind of had another trailer on opening night live with your character actually pissing himself and a mushroom growing. <laughs> oh, right. And okay. It's not a lie, that's actually a thing. Wow, okay. And that's apparently that's <laughs> uh, and apparently that's actually like some kind of useful mechanic. It's not just we put this in there because it's fun. Tra la 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 la. <laughs> it's actually a useful game mechanic. But all you get to really see of the actual gameplay is him walking around with a ladder. Right. Basically, being a courier. Now I understand you don't want to show all of the really nice, impressive, decent bits of gameplay. Yeah. But. Yeah. 
Yeah. What, what the damn hell? <laughs> yeah. That that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't find that tweet, so we'll forget that. But fair enough. We'll, we'll, I think we'll he said something that. confusing, which made people were like, "Oh, so it's not this." No. <laughs> <laughs> fair play. Yeah. Um, yeah, and recently as well, Fallout seventy six. Kind of the more I looked into that and read into that at the time, it started putting me off. What and seemingly a lot of other people, it put them off what the game actually was and I just wanted to kind of get your take on if there have been any games that you potentially were very interested in that you kind of by the time they were due to be released you were like yeah I'm gonna not bother with that now or (laughs) you you kind of ummed and ahed and thought okay well I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and it actually did turn out to be trash ah um I don't know really uh I'm quite sort of one directional with games. <laughs> I've I've given up with all the FIFA adverts that have come in on now. Yeah. They're just getting on my nerves now. And the, uh, considering it's been the same game for about 3 years. Very true. That's that's just disappointing. Yeah. Um oh, come on. I got to think of something. <laughs> Cuz I mean presumably with I know there've been uh some people moaning about some of the new mechanics for Sword and Shield, but presumably the oh, more you God, see of yeah. that, the more you're actually getting interested and invested in it. Yes, absolutely. Moaning yeah. about the national decks not being there, but... Yeah, and and the fact that the giant versions... I can't remember what they're called. Dragantamax, or Dynamax. Yeah, Dynamax versions. That That's kind of just an extension of something else supposedly that they've already had before and it's not very creative or inventive yeah it sort of it's like a a mix of mega evolution and z moves yeah but i like it (laughs) yeah yeah um i was always looking forward to captain toad when it came out Mm -hmm. i played that for a week and it was fun but after a week i was like "Eh, yeah (laughs) yeah Then they did some DLC for it, and I remember thinking, I'm just not that bothered. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I just because I played the game, I sort of think I sort of thought, well, the game hasn't really gone anywhere. It, it's nice for what it is, but you know, it was one of those like, eh, yeah, I've done that now. It, it doesn't really develop in any way. <laughs> no, it's just a slightly different or slightly more difficult level, and yeah. then you go to the next level, and it's uh, right, okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean I've I've also never really been a fan of Smash Brothers either. Oh really? So that was that's been advertised a lot on Nintendo and rightly yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Well they to keep take adding go Sorry, on, go on. I was gonna say it keeps taking precedent in every trailer. Yeah. Like there's good five, ten minutes on who's coming up next in Smash Bros. and I just sort of slightly think, Oh, don't really care. <laughs> I was gonna say that seems to be the main hook for that, it's just We've got these characters now. Yeah. And it's like, well, okay, but it's still effectively the same game, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, and we're in we're in um we're in a lull of major titles on Nintendo. Like there's mm. nothing major that's been out, so they keep so I th- I just think they keep rin- rinsing the same it's like, right, we've got new characters for Smash Brothers sort of thing. Yeah. And, I think they're just trying to get through to probably Pokemon Sword and Shield next, I think, is their next major thing to release. I mean, if anyone's got anything objective, let me know, including yourself. The the only thing I the only other thing I can think is Luigi's Mansion three. Is oh, yeah. there other big Oh, is that October? Thing? I think so, yeah. Um well, I oh, guess yeah. that kind of coincides with Halloween. That's the only thing I can really remember from like E three um, and Gamescom yeah. that they were really kind of look this is a thing as well but I mean it's it's not exactly on the same level as a Pokemon or a traditional Mario game or a Zelda or something like that is it? No. It's it's still kind of second tier yeah, license I mean, effectively. There's no top tier. I'm sorry I'm just looking at some games coming up now and I'm Demon X Machina or don't, whatever, oh, nah. mm. Link's Awakening September 20th yes yeah. that's, that's Dragon Quest 11 as well uh, 
Overwatch coming to the Switch, but that's a game that's been around for ages. That's been around for ages, yeah. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion on Halloween. Oh, it is actually out on Halloween, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Just Dance sense. 2020 is out on November How 5th. How are they still a thing? <laughs> is that... How is that still a thing? Oh, uh, here you go. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games the week before Sword and Shield. Well, that seemed and, yeah. stupid. And then Sword and Shield, obviously. So we got a few. Yeah. But I wouldn't say... Maybe Luigi's Mansion, actually. But I wouldn't say any of those are, like, proper... T- oh, I don't know, actually. I've played the Dragon Quest XI tra- um, demo. It's actually been quite fun. Okay. Sorry, I'm taking over your segment. I do apologise. No, 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 <laughs> it's fine. Well, that's you're sort of opening it up, because, like, there, on the flip side, you've got games, for me anyway, like Cyberpunk and... Final Fantasy 7 Remake that are like the more and more I see them I'm like I want them now yeah <laughs> so it's still it's because it, I, I wondered at first whether it was just me and I'm just getting kind of numb to that kind of advertising and people trying to like shove these get this game because it'll be great down your throat but it, it seems that if it's done well enough and in the right kind of way it does still interest me yeah like, I can't wait for more stuff for Last of Us 2. Oh, right, yeah. I think Naughty Dog have been really clever with that and kind of going, oh, here's a little thing, but not a lot, and oh, no. <laughs> and whether that's to do with PlayStation also going, we don't want to saturate the market too much because we've got these other big games that we're interested in. Yeah. So kind of hold back a bit. Yeah, it's... Marketing is a tough old world, isn't it? Mm. But I do think at some point it's like right. I get, I get it now. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, Square are usually quite bad at it. Like Final Fantasy Fifteen was the marketing for that was terrible. What was that? Um, the company. Uh, Square Enix. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they're the Who ones what? behind um, Dragon Quest Eleven. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, they. I guess they they're probably publishing it. I shouldn't think they're actually developing it yeah yeah they tend to publish a lot of other people's stuff now but yeah their marketing for 15 was absolutely terrible i mean the game was meant to be something else because they kept releasing stuff far too early yeah and they're not actually delivering on it but what they've done for the 7 remake recently like within the last year has been spot on okay so it is still like even companies that are quite bad at it (laughs) Should still, like, are still perfectly capable of doing it, and then yeah, you get urinating, and here's a mushroom, <laughs> as as the flip side. And then you're like, right, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, and the more you see, it's like I was really hyped for this game, at, at, like six months ago. If you'd have not told me anything about it, I probably would have bought it on release day. Now you keep feeding this naff information about it. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather sometimes they just didn't show you much. Yeah. Or they just showed you more insight into the one thing they showed you in the first trailer. Sort yeah, sort of and like and what Sword and it. Shield have done actually. They sort of showed yeah. you here's the new region, right, here's the new feature, right, here's more on that new feature. Yeah, exactly. Let's go into what the wild area is a bit more. Let's properly show you what the Dynamax fights are like in a yeah. short demo thing. Or here's a couple of new characters we're going to feed in here that you haven't seen yet. Exactly. Just to, I think little and often is better rather than just here's an hour of stuff yeah. <laughs> that you can't get your head round. Yeah, exactly. You need to limit yourself a bit. Leave something yeah. to the imagination. Exactly, yeah. But that's yeah. not how the world works now, sadly. No. Otherwise, you end up doing what they did with Metal Gear Solid Five and literally releasing the entire cutscenes of the, the the entire game just in a slightly different order so that then when you play the game, you're like, yeah, I've already seen this. Oh, right. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> like, yeah, I've seen this. And then there were scenes in the trailers, some of them, that weren't in the game. Oh, right. <laughs> you're like, cool. Well, where's Where that? was that bit? The... Oh, no, that bit's been cut. That doesn't cool. make any sense. Excellent. That's that's great. Thanks for that. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that that's kind of me this week. Yeah. Dodgy marketing. Well, I can agree. That does happen. Yeah. And it is frustrating. 
And it would be, if anybody else has any ideas of any games that they can think of, not even necessarily recent ones, maybe even one from like 20 odd years ago or whatever, that you kind of, the more you found out about it or the more they advertised it, the less interested you got, would be very interesting to see what other people's thoughts are. Yeah. Do let us know in the comments. Indeed. So yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah fair enough, yeah. <laughs> Marketing is weird. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I never understand it. No. No, it's not my thing. No. <laughs> oh, well. All right, then. Well, it's it's been a pleasure, as always. Yes. Yeah, I re- sorry, I realised that was kind of... And here's a grinding halt. <laughs> no, that's, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm actually going to go off and edit the video that you all saw, hopefully, two days ago on the Friday. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish that and export that and get it all ready and looking shiny and nice. And then we've already enjoyed it. Hopefully so, hopefully so. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes. All right, well, for for now, we shall see or... Yeah, yeah, won't see you all. No. No. Goodbye. (laughs) That's what I meant to say. Two... Two weeks for the uh, the final the final uh, podcast together. Yes, good point. Yeah. Oh, your final podcast. That because British you, guy's final because podcast. Because you killed it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever will happen. <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> All right. Yes. Well. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye bye.